In the shadow of the Pentagon and Washington, D.C., is a neighborhood parish that is full of life. Our Lady Queen of Peace, a mission of the Spiritans, is a vibrant parish serving a wide, ethnically diverse population. The growth of the parish has been exponential. I mean, when I came here, I wouldn't have an idea of how many families, maybe 12, 1,300. Now it's up to 2,500. And that's all across. It's, it's become what, what they call a magnet parish. You've probably heard that with them. Um, they come from all over. And because of the pastoral work, particularly of the, of the Spiritans. The parish of Our Lady Queen of Peace has its roots in 1945, at the end of World War II. Although African Americans had fought equally with other Americans during the war, racial segregation prevailed both in the wider society and in the Catholic Church. Black Catholics in Arlington went to Mass and attended schools in Washington, D.C., or at St. Joseph's, a black Catholic church in Alexandria, Virginia. It was founded as an, an all-black church uh, because that's who founded it. But we told the bishop that it was going to be open to everybody. And so when they changed the boundaries in the 60s and, and included the white neighborhoods, because th this, this church was, the boundaries were for blacks because it was a black neighborhood. When they changed the boundaries and included up to Columbia Pike and beyond, oh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, beyond, then whites started coming here. Then in the 70s, a lot of Hispanics came here, but so it wasn't founded just for blacks, it was founded for anybody who wanted to come here because we knew how it felt to go somewhere and not be welcome. The parish is, uh, because it's a really welcoming place, um, it, it's built on a deep sense of the need to make people feel cared for, feel welcomed. I felt like the first time that I really felt like I am in a almost perfect parish from the way few people when they have the chance to talk to me they all say father this is my parish they didn't they didn't say this is spirits and bearers but most of them every one of them i am in contact with i say father this is my parish and a lot have to do with uh, father tuzulo the former uh, associate pastor and he passed away recently and people say the reason i was here because of father tuzulo so it's made me feel like people love to come here because of the, the way the Spiritans have been doing the missionary work here. And also people feel like they are accepted, they are respected because they are different. It's a very welcoming parish. The, the, the people themselves are very welcoming. And that's what we have uh, we are the community, and, uh, and within this church, we are a family. But our church has grown, uh, I, I don't know how many, 2,000 families? I don't know. We, we have, uh, when we started out, we had two masses. Now we have six every weekend, you know, and, and, as you, and you probably noticed that they're full. Yeah. The masses are full. So we have a lot of families and a lot of people, and, and, and a lot of people don't only come on Easter and Christmas. We're kind of unique, though we shouldn't be. Our um, philosophy or our belief is that the parents are the first and best teachers of the faith. So we've created programs to partner with the parents and support them. So they do a lot of the education at home, um, and then they bring them back to campus where we reinforce and review and bring to life the stuff that they're reading at home or the conversations that they're having. This is our first communion class. Um, and um, they're learning that we're all part of God's family. And this is the place where we intentionally come to be with God. We did a what we call a treasure hunt. These are the tr our treasure box of things, our tools in the church. And they had some clues. And they had been studying the pictures of these tools at home. And so now it's time to, to actually locate them, where they are, what their purpose is, and, and touch them. The church has grown tremendously. Um, our biggest challenge is um, space, um, both in the church and our um, adjacent buildings for uh, ministry meetings and all of the things that we do here. 
so um, it's grown um, in terms of uh, diversity as well, you know. But that's not a surprise to anyone here. I think um, our fi founders um, pledged to offer welcome to everybody who came to the door, and that's continued. What's really changed in the last few years is that we've had this incredible insurgence of new young families joining the parish. Uh, there's an incredible sense of welcome and openness and really embracing um, people that, that somehow find their way here. And they may find their way here for a lot of different reasons. You know, maybe they've been really thirsty for a long time for a spiritual experience that they couldn't find elsewhere. Here at the parish, we really struggle and strive to keep our doors wide open to everyone. Um, it doesn't matter uh, where you're coming from, what your background is. Um, we try to be here for everyone. So you'll see um, uh, homeless people uh, in, in the community, in sitting out in the pews next to somebody who might be a senator um, or a congresswoman or congressman um, or one of the Arlington um, uh, supervisors for the county. Um, so you, we have people of all of these backgrounds and we have um, uh, people with all different types of abilities uh, as well and, and individuals who um, are immigrants, individuals um, who have been here their whole life. Um, and I think it really is, it's about that notion of uh, an open community, a community where everyone finds acceptance. Um, every year we do what we call Stone Soup Supper and it's every Friday in Lent, except of course not Good Friday. Um, and we come together, we have a soup, supper, everybody uh, bring soup and you know we all uh, enjoy that together and then we always have some kind of a program. Because so many of, of uh, our parishioners um, were victims of discrimination, um, justice is very important to them and it's for us it's living out our gospel call. That's what it comes down to. The, the parish motto is based on Matthew 25, um, uh, you know, feeding the hungry, sheltering, sheltering the homeless, um, drink to the thirsty and, and visiting the sick and the imprisoned and, and recognizing that when we do that to the least among us, we're doing that to Jesus. And that, that's, that's the, the cornerstone of it. And of course, it's based on Catholic social teaching. Today, the parish and the people of Our Lady Queen of Peace continue the tradition begun some 70 years ago, carrying out the mission of the Spiritans. People here are really um, very open and very welcoming to people of all races, creeds, colors. The parish has changed over the years, but I think the fact of it being an inclusive community, um, people are welcome. And, and that's a, um, an ongoing thing here, that we, we do our best to be welcoming to all, everyone. The parish is fantastic. Um, we really live the gospel here. Um, our mission is Matthew 25, so we are feeding the hungry and giving drink to the thirsty, et cetera. And the kids get to witness that. Um, in my job, you know, who could have a better job than teaching children how much God loves them? It's such a special place. It just is. Um, you know, the Spirit and Fathers who are here are, are just the glue and just so inspiring, and they're the real deal. And then that grew into the community of the parishioners as well, just being so committed to each other, committed to social activities, committed to the gospel. And it's just a special place where you can feel the Spirit. It's always been home. It really is um, about the spirit of Queen of Peace. It's about doing good work right here in a local community. It's, um, uh, it's about giving back. Um, it's about the welcome that we offer to everybody, the open door. Um, kind of, I don't know, it's just, it's an attitude more than anything. And um, it resonates for everybody, staff, every, all the volunteers, everybody feels the same way. It just is um, welcoming the other. You know, it's just uh, what we do here. I'm a Franciscan. 
Um, so I know a little bit about religious life and about people like these Puritans, and they have been just remarkable in terms of their ministry. I mean, I feel like I'm a brother to the Holy Spirit Fathers, yeah. In fact, when I go back to my own Franciscans, I say, you guys should learn something from the Spirit. I do. I tell them what, what a great place this is, you know.